Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I will be doing another foundation review. And for today, we have the Lotus Makeup Eco Stay Radiant Gel Foundation. Now this again, I have not seen any ads, any PR or anything related to this foundation. I did not even know that they had foundations. I just came to know recently that they had another i think two other foundations i may be wrong i'm not so sure so one of them i'll insert the picture somewhere here looks like that and there is another one which is a mousse foundation i think so so i'll insert the picture again somewhere here and this one looks like this it is a glass bottle it is heavy it's big that's what she said now <clears throat> before we can move on into the foundation review do not forget to subscribe to my channel now let's jump into the video so to start off with this is priced at 695 rupees for 30 ml of product and it has only three shades like just three that is it and that is i feel like that's really unfair for that price point just having three shades is a like completely bad i i would really say that's really bad because if you see other brands as well, I mean, if this was priced at 200 to 300 rupees, okay, I get it, fine. You know, it's kind of like in a low margin budget, whatever. And just three shades, kind of, it's not right, but it's okay. But for this price point, it's almost close to 700 rupees with just three shades. That is ridiculous. So the shade that I have, I have picked out is the shade, the middle shade, which is called Fawn. The lightest one is called Snow. This is the middle one, which is called Fawn, the medium one. And the last shade is called Toast. So for the description and the claims of the product on the Nykaa website, it says, get long lasting dewy and glowing skin using the Lotus Eco Stay Radiant Gel Foundation. It is enriched with moisturizing and purifying properties of frangipani extracts and anti-aging benefits of vitamin E. Now, I have no idea what is a frangi pani. I initially thought it was a firangi pani, mm, but it is frangi pani, which I have no freaking clue. Now, moving on. This new age gel formula based foundation blends easily for a spotless natural coverage and masks uneven skin and imperfections without looking cakey or greasy. Now, I kind of like that because of my oily skin. Giving away giving away giving way to flawless natural looking skin it is suitable for all skin types and ensures no breakouts now the features are it is a medium coverage gel based foundation it offers flawless seamless coverage we'll see about that it provides extreme hydration to the skin which i do need and it imparts a radiant finish it comes with an spf 20 so this is the claims of the product now apart from this uh, all i could see is something about a recycle thing which i don't know what that exactly means i think it is vegan as well as cruelty free it has a green sticker so i think it says vegan and next to it is a bunny sticker which is cruelty free so that is good now on the packaging itself it says it's oil free texture fast absorbing natural radiance and rich with frank okay it's the same shit so i'm not going to repeat all that now we're going to move on is to the packaging now this product it is a frosty glass which is heavy it is good the cap of it i think it's plastic but i don't know i just feel overall uh, with the silver detailing as well but with this cap, I feel it looks a little bit tacky. I don't know. But uh, yeah, the glass jar, the frosted glass, I really like it. So let's move on. Oh, this is satisfying. So this is how the product looks like. It right off the bat reminds me of like a perfume bottle, a tiny mini bottle. So yeah this is how it looks now i want to see since it's gel how the texture is i'm just gonna use like a pump okay yeah you guys see okay so this is how it's looking it is quite thick actually so i mean it's not running down but i don't know about the shade i don't know if this is gonna match me but there's just like three shades to work with so yeah 
So I'm gonna take is this side, I'm just gonna dot it. It has a slight fragrance, so let's see. Today, this looks extremely yellow. Hmm. But let's see. So this is the buffing brush end using a real technique buffing brush. Okay, okay. It has blended quite okay. Yeah, I think the shade matches pretty well. But on the coverage, I can still see a little bit of my blemishes. And uh, I think I would have told, right? I have an oily, oily skin. I have a lot of pits. I have a lot of pores on my skin. There's a lot going on. And uh, I feel it has given a good finish overall. But the coverage is a bit low. I would still say it's a medium coverage. But I feel that it has... Um, evened out my skin tone like you can see the comparison of this side and this side so the the tone has been evened out but i can still see a bit of my blemishes and everything so let's go for another pump Yeah, I surprisingly it has done a good job like you can see this side and see this side I can still see it but yeah just the general area here it has kind of filled in my pores Wait. yeah the pores are kind of filled in um, I can still see my uh, a spot I think it's like a beauty mark very lightly like I can see it uh, but far away it looks fine so this was like second layer now I'm curious to know but uh, overall I feel it is given a good um, kind of a finish it's very comfortable it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything heavy after the second layer as well so this is good it's evened out my skin tone as you guys can see uh but there's a little bit few more spots like if you have a more prominent acne or a pimple i highly doubt that's gonna cover it up but uh yeah maybe you can try seeing if it kind of helps by layering it up more so this is one side uh now let's move on to the second side the beauty blender side i'm just gonna spot it this side has more blemishes actually than that side but let's see how it performs so yeah this one side is done now, as you guys can see, I feel that it is a bit more dewy on this side than the brush side. So that's that. And uh, even though it has evened out my skin tone, yes, but I can still see the, the pits and the bumps on my skin, the acne scarring. There is one blemish right here, which is still seen and it is pretty red. So that is that. I'm gonna add in one more layer and see how it goes. Okay, I think the second layer did the job. I don't know why I applied it there though, seriously. Okay, now the second layer actually did help with the spots. Now, 
feel that after the first layer it's become less dewy what do you guys think let me go over the neck as well right so this is how my skin is looking right now in the indoor lighting i will show you guys how it looks outside as well give me a minute so this is how my skin is looking right now it has given a good glow uh, it has even evened out my skin tone but i can still see my blemishes and my bumps which i will see what can be done about that so this is like for two and a half layers each the beauty blender side and this is the brush side okay so this is how my face is looking right now i have added in the concealer but what i have noticed is from the time i've applied the foundation i think it is oxidized because initially if you had seen it was more like a wheatish white like a wheatish um, yellow but now it just looks pretty yellow so just want to let you guys know that the product does oxidize so that is that now let me finish the full makeup and i'll be right back so this is how it's looking like in the natural lighting as you guys can see it looks nice and seamless it has evened out the skin tone and yeah okay so guys this is my first check-in sorry i'm whispering i'm kind of shy about being in subway and taking a video so this is how my skin is looking right now it is pretty oily but I don't see any separation anyway there you go. so you can see it's extremely it's not that bad of an oily skin it is okay I have seen worse but this is how it looks and uh, yeah this is the first check-in hey guys so i'm back and right now it is about 10 30 pm i first applied the foundation and i completed my face the full makeup by around 4 pm and it has been more than uh, it's about six hours a little bit more than six hours and this is how my face is looking just to let you guys know i have not done any blotting i have not done any touch up this is just as it is which is very tough because as you guys can see i am like glistening of oil Ooh, but uh yeah so i tried my best to keep my hands off but as you guys can see a lot of oil has been coming out of my face uh, but again this is not a very bad thing because after seven hours of this much oil it is okay i can still see my blush i can still see a little bit of my contouring uh, i mean of course my eye makeup is as it is but uh, this is not that bad surprisingly i have seen foundations that have like in about two, two hours just two hours of applying it this is how it looks so seven hours of this staying this long it is good enough for me not great but it's good enough just at this part alone since i had dinner uh, i had to wipe my mouth with a tissue and that got kind of brushed off and i was like sitting and talking and it was like this so that kind of got rubbed off but apart from that nothing has been touched so far now we're gonna do a little bit of blotting test the reason why i do that is just to see if i can blot it and then maybe apply a compact if it will still look good enough so i'm not going to apply compact now because it doesn't make any sense i'm going to go wash my face but i'm going to blot and see as to how the makeup is looking like has all the products just left my face once i blot or not so let's see okay so i've got my like first sheet right now mm, it's going to be really disgusting by the way so yeah oh my god do you guys see this like I didn't have to do anything much. It just came right off. My facts. I mean, this foundation would work if you have like a dry skin, a normal skin. It would be good. I just want to show to you guys if you have like crazy oily skin like mine. Thank your dad for your genes of oily skin. So this is how it looks. I hardly have to even like touch. 
usually for blotting i have to like keep pressing to make sure the oils are out but uh, it's just automatically off my face this is the amount of freaking oil i just left a little bit of my chin but the one thing that i did notice was it kicked up a little bit not everywhere just around this area right here it just kicked up a little bit here there you have it two sheets of the blotting paper fully oily but i still do like the way how the foundation is like right now it looks good it still looks good i have dimmed the brightness a bit just so that you guys can see properly so it still looks good like if i take a compact right now and do a little bit of touch up and everything i'm good to go for the next i don't know few more hours to go so yeah this is how it is so let's talk about the good the bad and my opinion on this product now on the good side the first thing is the packaging and the fact that it has a pump on it that is a plus plus the second thing is that it is comfortable to wear the gel like consistency that it had mentioned that was pretty much true because i did add about two and a half layers it was still not too heavy on my face probably when the oil started generating a lot is when for my oily ass skin it became a little bit heavy on my skin like i could feel it but on the initial part until the too much excessive oil did not come out it was fine it was completely fine it was comfortable as well it was not that tacky or it was not that sticky feeling or anything so it was a comfortable kind of a foundation uh, also that it gave a bit of a radiance it evened out my skin tone and also bear in mind i did not add any primer so that is my take on it personally uh, the third thing is it has spf 20 in it which is extremely minimum but still something is better than nothing so that for me is a good now the other thing is that it's great i mean like it kind of looks good even after like six and a half hours and even once i blotted the coverage was still there it's very very light it's like very sheer right now it basically right now looks like a tinted moisturizer and this i have blotted after six six and a half hours so that is a good thing and i'm very sure if you have like a dry skin or uh, you know like a normal skin this will be perfect now for the last part I think I did cover that which is coverage even after blotting it so that is it when it comes to the goods now the bads it is very short the first and foremost is going to be the shade range three shades is not enough you're in 2018 and the second point that kind of continues on with it is the price point now i really as a consumer if you ask me i will go for a lesser priced product which has more shades so that i can pick out something which is more matching for my skin tone so lastly for my opinion i feel that this is a good foundation if you're looking into buying one buy this one it is good uh, but yet again for me personally it's not going to be my go-to foundation but it is going to be there for certain days where I'll feel like okay let me experiment so that's the kind of foundation this is going to be to be honest so that is it for today's video you guys I hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to subscribe to my channel click on the like and also follow me on my socials which I'll mention right here and also if you have any questions comment down below so until the next video take care bye oh my contact lens is sabotaging sabotaging <laughs>